Hi Aquarius, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at the current energies between you and your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, this is a general reading. It might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. All right, um, Aquarius, let's take a look at the general messages for you first, and then I'll look at the individual energies. Spirit, please show me general messages for Aquarius. Thank you. All right, first message we have for you, Aquarius, is it says base chakra, base chakra. Okay, next message here is nurture, nurture. And we have release, release. So Aquarius, I feel like these cards are, um, it also says move at the bottom. Move. I feel like um, there's something here that you need to release, that you need to let go of. Um, with the card of nurture, it makes me think of, um, it makes me think of Libra, the sign of Libra. I feel like you need to... Um, get back to center, get back to the energy of, of yourself, connect to yourself, be in tune with yourself. Yeah, it's kind of like a general message here. I feel like what I wanted to say with the Libra energy, I feel like you've been letting somebody walk all over you or you've been letting something or someone push you around. Because I'm getting an energy of you having uh, a low self-esteem or a low sense of self-worth. Or somebody or something has been impacting that in you. And I do feel with the base chakra, I feel like this is about regaining your power, regaining your independence. I feel like a lot of people are getting this message, actually. And I think it has a lot to do with the fact that the new moon in Aries is, um, is about to start on April 1st. We have a new moon in Aries, which is all about, you know, um, being strong, being independent, being confident. Yeah, so this is about, you know, putting boundaries, I want to say. Yeah, placing boundaries where, where you know you need to place them. All right, let's move on. Let's take a look at the energy of your person, whoever it is that you're dealing with in love. Okay, first card we have here for you, Aquarius, is the Seven of Pentacles for your person, I mean. We have the Seven of Wands. We 
we have the nine of wands. I feel like it's so dark. I'm looking at the camera, it looks really dark. We have the six of swords. We have the five of wands. And we have the queen of pentacles. All right, let me take a look here. Seven of pentacles. Seven of wands in reverse. So whoever you're dealing with, Aquarius, um, I do see them kind of uh, retreating here, walking away or retreating, distancing themselves. I do feel like they they don't want to... They don't want to give any more time or energy into this connection or relationship. I feel like they're trying to turn a new leaf. They're trying to make a change. Even with themselves, because we have the five of wands. So I feel like they're trying to make a change in themselves. I feel like this is someone who has been struggling with something. They've been going through a lot of internal conflict. And I feel like this is someone who's trying to kind of um, reinvent themselves or just kind of redirect their focus, redirect their attention towards themselves. Which is interesting because I feel like that's what came up here in the, in the general message here. So maybe both of you need to do this, you know, both of both of you need to kind of separate. Um, I'm getting an energy of things might, it's possible that things tend to turn toxic um, when you two are together. There's fights or arguments or tension or stress when you two are together. Um, there's a lot of clashing or a lot of, or a lot of bickering between you two or just a lot of differences between you two that um, provoke conflict or provoke negativity, create negativity. And it looks to me like both of you need to kind of separate and both of you need to focus on yourselves. And kind of let go of this unhealthy attachment that's between you two. Because it does feel like it's negatively affecting both of you. Not necessarily in the same way, but in similar ways. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles spirit. We have the Nine of Cups. Yeah. Anything else? And we have the Seven of Cups. Yeah, I think this person is also trying to open themselves up to other options in love. I see them doing that. I see them um, making an attempt to be more open towards other possibilities and other options in love. What's the Queen of Pentacles? We have the Magician and we have the Eight of Swords. The Magician and the Eight of Swords. Yeah, I feel like this person has been feeling trapped within this relationship or this connection between you two. Um, what's the conflict about, Spirit? What's the Five of Wands? We have the Page of Wands. And we have the Page of Swords. So there's a lot of um, immature energy here. It's possible that both of you become immature with each other, you know? Um, sorry for the music outside. It's possible that both of you become immature when, when you are together. 
it doesn't mean that you are um, immature um, naturally but when you two are together you two just don't know how to get on the same page and it's it becomes something difficult it becomes a a difficult back and forth type of energy between you two all right let's move on I'm going to take a look at your energy now, Aquarius. Let's see what's going on with you. Let's see, I'm not going to turn off the video. Normally I would turn off the video and just start all over again because of the music, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to keep pushing forward here. Again, sorry for the noise that's happening outside. All right, Spirit, show me the energy of Aquarius, please, in regards to love. We have the Four of Swords in reverse. We have the Three of Wands. Thank God it stopped. We have the Five of Cups in reverse. We have the Eight of Swords. It's hard to read because the, the writing is very light. The Star. The Eight of Cups. Let me see at the bottom, at the bottom, Six of Cups. All right, let's see your energy, Aquarius. We have Four of Swords in reverse. Three of Wands. I kind of feel like you're stuck at a crossroads. I don't know if you're stuck though because we have the Eight of Swords in reverse. But I feel like you're, you're at a crossroads. Yeah, and it feels like a transitionary kind of energy that you're in the middle of right now. Um, and it feels like a difficult transition because I do see that you need to let go of your past. Um, with the star card in reverse, you feel like, you know, what's done is done. And there's no, there's not a lot left for you anymore in the past. And the only way, the only option for you right now is to move forward. But I feel like it is hard. We have the Five of Cups because you do have feelings for someone. You do feel um, an attachment to someone, a connection. You feel a connection with someone. And I do feel like your emotions fluctuate. I do feel like there are times where you really want to give it another chance, give it another go. Um, Sometimes you feel tempted to revisit the past or, you know, attempt to do something again in the past. But then I feel like you quickly change your mind because you start remembering why things didn't work out in the first place. And it's like you come back to reality, you know. You might have been dealing with a soulmate here with the Six of Cups. Your person might be a soulmate or a twin flame. I'm getting heavy kind of twin flame energies because I do feel like both of you need to kind of go off in separate ways and 
strengthen your relationship with yourself and heal your relationship with yourself. Um, you and the, and your person, both of you. All right. Well, I hope that made sense, Aquarius. I'm going to end the reading here. Um, I hope this helped you in some way. If it did, please give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.